Hello everybody on YouTube. My name is Cliff and I'm here to tell everybody that the Lord is about to return. Um, in this video I want you to uh, get an understanding of uh, the Lord's grace. He says He would return and it, this is the timing of His return. Uh, the Lord has shown me a couple years ago uh, how the world works. The, the the whole physical world and a lot of the unseen world through the prophet T.B. Joshua. If you go to on YouTube, you can find his videos there, a lot of his videos there. And um, you, if you watch his videos, you may not believe the things that you see and think and feel that they're a hoax, uh, as I did when I started watching. But um, the more and more I watched, uh, I noticed one thing was one thing that was clear. I was noticing in in all the videos that were that I was watching, and and it comes into the thousands. Um, one thing was clear that I realized over time. Uh, none of the videos from the previous times of watching um, his videos with himself and the wise men that work out of his church, uh, Synagogue Church of All Nations, uh, none of the videos contradict the, the, a previous video that I watched. Um, all the messages uh, were straight down the aisle. And if if you notice what I'm saying, there's there's basically only one truth. That's it. One truth to everything. And everything that he says or has shown me has been has not been um, disproved by disproven by a previous video that I watched. So. Uh, one video doesn't speak out against another video. Uh, so if you if you go on his videos, you can watch uh, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua and the Wise Men. You'll first of all, you may like I said, may not believe what you see or witness right up uh, up front. But the one thing is clear that all the videos that you look at uh, at the church. Um, don't contradict each other. Okay, now, um, the things or events going on around the world, like uh, the U.S., in the U.S., uh, the most powerful nation in the world, uh, relate to, right now we're going through several things, uh, which is common, or sorry, which is normal, they're always going through a whole bunch of things all at once. But everybody's meant to be confused by all these things. Everything's supposed to be confusing. And that's the first thing that you have to understand. Um, all these talks about money, the banking system, um, uh, health care, uh, care of uh, uh, other countries, uh, and um, and everything owns up to a big lie at the at the end of everything that they control or or uh, govern or try to say that they are protecting or helping there's a big lie at the end of it and the big lie is who's in control of each uh, department or each uh, faction of our lives. Everything at the end of the day belongs to Satan. Satan is the number one controller of each and every single department of our lives. Education, uh, military, and I'm talking about all militaries. Military of every country, government of every country, education of every country, and and um, 
the manipulation that he set up over his existence here has gotten us to believe in the systems that he has designed. And all these systems are to end up at the end is bringing the whole world down. And we, we are near the end. And these not, not, do not come from my words. These are the words of a prophet. Um, and if you don't want to believe that, that's it's totally up to you because I guess the Lord isn't calling you to to Him or to believe. You don't have to believe in these things to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ anyway. The, the, the most important thing is that you trust, have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you have His protection and salvation. Love, love Jesus with all your heart and have a relationship with Him. Do not try to call Him in the last day and say that, uh, Lord, protect me, because according to what I've learned through the prophet, is uh, that is um, that is for selfish reasons. That's asking for God for selfish reasons. Like when you, when you call upon Jesus, when when um, when things go bad, only you don't talk to Him when things are good. You don't thank Him when things are good. You don't uh, you don't give tithes for uh, offerings when things are good. You're, you're all about yourself until something goes wrong. Uh, that would be the same thing as you uh, finally seeing. Oh, you know what? Maybe this guy's right. Um, maybe I should start praying that the world's coming to an end or whatever. Um, you should have a relationship with Jesus, anyways. Um, Several times throughout the Bible, uh, we we as human beings have been fool, fools, fooled fools, uh, and gone to our fleshly uh, design or desires, and this is never the way it was in, uh, was intended, or God has told us it should be. Um, look at uh, the, the the U.S. has a new, um, or sorry, the Fed, <laughs> the Fed. The, is this the Federal Reserve or the, uh, the Fed, federal government? Who knows? But they came up with a new term. Um, uh, well, the old term is quantitative easing. That's a term that's been heard in Europe more than uh, the U.S. To, at this point because of their financial breakdown over the last couple of years. And the U.S.'s turn is about to happen. Um, they came up with a new term. I can't even remember what they said. I heard it today. Oh, um, uh, trimming or something like that. Um, I don't even know, remember. It began with a T. But uh, I'll put it on my next video when I when I when I watch something else, to, and they try and tell me another lie about it. So I want you to understand that all these things are made to confuse us, so we don't understand who's doing all this work or know the truth about what's coming, um, the wars that are designed by Satan across the pond or across uh, the ocean in every other country and they lie they lie continuously on our news uh, about uh, why these uh, people are dying or being killed they, we, they say to us here in North America that these people have all, all of a sudden gone crazy and they're fighting against themselves they're killing their own people and, and it's happening in all these several countries, all these countries are in the same location. Meanwhile, meanwhile, it's just about um, the America, the American nation, uh, wanting to take over their land or their resources. And it's not about resources to Satan. Don't get it wrong. 
Satan will tell you you can you can gain power and do this and you'll have control of the world by doing this and doing whatever. It has nothing to do with that according to Satan. Satan is doing these things to take their lives and your lives to build up anger against um, other countries or other governments or other people and do what you were told not to do and that was to hate your brother and sister. So if you understand that Satan is behind all these things, you'll learn to follow Jesus' word and pray for all people. Uh, do not smite, spite those who come to kill you, to spite you, or persecute you, according to the Lord. Love those who spite you. Um, this is the most difficult thing that we are um, are to learn. And Satan knows what he has to deceive us against. Deceive us against Jesus Christ and his teachings. And and when this when this happens, it's going to be it's going to be I can't des I can't describe what the Lord shows me in my heart. This is going to be like um, even in the book, it, the words in the book. If you read the words in the book, you'll get a clear understanding of what's coming. Even even the scripture that speaks in parables. It's. If you read enough, you'll you'll get more of a clearer understanding. Uh, all the books of the Old Testament, they, they, a lot of these books are still still haven't been completed yet. But where the prophets uh, prophesize the, these things that are coming in in the last days, I want you to. Wake up, everybody. This is my message to you all. Um, join my channel. Get others to join. Uh, watch my videos. Um, I, I don't speak. I, I speak from the Lord. I don't even know how to not stop talking at some points like now. Um, I'm going to do that right now. But... Uh, I'm praying for all of you that actually watch this. In the words of uh, T.B. Joshua, reach out, touch your screen, touch your screen, put your hand on the screen, and say, Jesus, come into my life. And he will come, send the Holy Spirit to me. Send the Holy Spirit to me and come into my life. Right now, Lord Jesus, do this with all your power and grace, because I love you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Lord, help these people, wherever they may be. In your power, show them your power. Bring them out of hell and bring them to you. In your precious name, Jesus Christ, amen.